This is Techno 911, episode 84. iPhone. Hi, I'm Jordan Berman. And I'm Mike Dovin. And today we're going to talk to you about Apple's latest device, the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Well, that's two devices. Anyway, the iPhone was released about two years ago in uh, June 07, where they um, released their version of the cell phone. It was new for its time. It had its, a full web browser and as well as a fully functional phone. Right now, we have a, uh, the second generation iPhone as well as the second generation iPod, iPod touch. touch that we're going to review. Some of the features of the iPhone is a GPS, uh, pretty powerful web browser, calendar, contacts, email, which are all pretty powerful apps as well. There's um, texting, and the main feature it's really designed for is iPod playing. So we're going to go over some of the innovative features of the iPhone. The first is the calculator. Calculator may just seem like a regular calculator, who cares? But if you flip it into horizontal, you actually get a scientific calculator. Which is kind of cool for all your scientific needs. Another cool thing is in Safari, which is the web browser. You can flip it in horizontal as well, and the site will rotate. As well, the uh, keyboard for the when you're entering the website address in uh, rotates as well, and that feature should be coming to SMS in 3.0. Another thing is you can drag your fingers out to zoom in and pinch back in to zoom out, which is kind of neat just for convenience and fitting into the site, the fight to fit in the site into the small screen. The last really cool thing is you can flick up and down to scroll through the sites. As well, the home button can be, uh, can be assigned several functions. We use our home buttons to uh, go to our iPod. If you double click it, it actually goes to the iPod, which is a lot more convenient than having to go through the menu and get to the iPod because you can, um, this way, you can have the controls right there. And since it plays over everything, you can get access over everything to the iPod. As well, well the uh, iPhone has a camera. The only problem with the camera is it's good quality camera but there is no uh, zoom. And uh, the iPhone also comes with speakerphone which is good for hands-free calling. One of the nice features about the headphones that come with the iPhone is that there's a little piece of plastic that comes on that has a microphone, a microphone built in as well. You can use that piece to answer calls, to hang up on calls, and even uh, pause songs, change the songs, and it's a really nice feature because you don't have to pull out your device to use it. One of the best parts of the iPhone, at least in my opinion, is the App Store, which lets you install a whole bunch of applications that extend your device's capabilities. Um, the App Store is pretty simple. You can just click the App Store. It's installed on every device running the 2.0 software, which is the newest version. And all you have to do is go through the application, some are free, some you have to pay for, and the prices vary depending on the application, but it's a lot of different applications that are really useful in some cases. One of the most popular is Facebook. As well, there's, um, for those who have the iPod Touch but want some kind of texting plan, there, are, there is software that allows you to text other people from the iPod uh, when you're connected to Wi-Fi. And my favorite application is text-free. I use it all the time. 
And um, games like Monkey Ball. There's uh, several games that use the accelerometer, like Monkey Ball, where actually tilting the phone allows you to adjust the angle at which the uh, monkey in the ball will travel. And there's racing games that all those require you to tilt the device to steer. One of the problems with it is that the web browser doesn't actually come with uh, Flash. So when you have a Flash website, you can't get access. So they include a YouTube website or YouTube application so that you can at least get YouTube. As well, you can um, connect these devices with your computers. So it multifunctions as, the, uh, as either a pointer or a mouse rather than having to sip at your computer. Um, my favorite application is the knot tying app. I have some friends who are Boy Scouts who taught me some knots, but I realized that knots are a very useful skill for life. So I bought the knot tying app because I figured who there are uh, points in my life I will need to know knots. And so I'm using that to educate me. And whenever I need to know them, I now have access to them because of the iPhone. Right now, the only person offering the... Uh, iPhone as a cellular option is AT&T. Plans start at $40 a month and then on top of that there's a $30 fee for the internet that you can't opt out for as well. If you want texting that's a separate charge. And then there's, as well there's taxes and fees in there. So it's probably around $70 or $80 a month minimum so you really got to decide if that's how much you're going to spend on, inter on a cell phone plan but Remember, you are getting the entire internet, so. The uh, phone itself costs 199 for the 8 gig and uh, 299 for the 16, but if you do decide to go with a refurb, you can just drop $100 off both those prices. Also, the iPod Touch might be an alternative because it doesn't have the phone or the cellular internet or GPS, but pretty much is the exact same thing. So, it runs all the same apps, it does all of the features we showed pretty much except for the calling and the GPS and it's really nice for like just for going on Wi-Fi and checking email and that kind of thing the iPod touch starts at 229 for the 8 gig 299 for the 16 gig that's what I have and 399 for the 32 gig which is a lot more space so it depends on how much media you have you might be able to get away with an 8 gig if you don't have that much music but for me I use a lot of applications I put pictures on and I have probably couple gigs of music so 16 gigs just about right for me um, one thing that you have to be wary about is for at least the iPhone if you want a long lasting battery it's not necessarily the best phone for you because of the uh, heavy use that people use for it. it the most I've ever gotten out of the phone is pretty much about two days so you have to uh, account for that when you want to buy when you think about buying the phone I'm Jordan Berman. I'm Mike Dovin. Happy application hunting. To watch this episode again or to watch any of our prior episodes, you can visit our website, 911.tecker.net, T-E-C-K-E-R. And on the website, we have uh, our prior episodes as well as you can view them directly on the website or you can download them in WMV for Windows, iPod or QuickTime format for your iPod or if you have iTunes installed an MP3 audio only version of the show and a WMV HD version of the show which you can download via BitTorrent that looks really really clear uh, and in pristine HD quality and instructions for downloading via BitTorrent are also on the site. On the right hand side we have more information about us and about each of the members of the show as well as quick links to all of our prior episodes and links to the RSS feeds for each of the formats that we release the show in and links to subscribe to the show in iTunes if you have an iPod, an Apple TV, an iPhone, any Apple device. You can click on that link in either video or audio format. You can also in iTunes search for Tecker, T-E-C-K-E-R, uh, in the iTunes store and then you can find our podcast that you can subscribe to free. Also, if you do not have, a, if you do not have an iPod, if you have like a generic MP3 player, then you can use the uh, 
You can still listen to our show if on our website you subscribe to this MP3 audio version in a feed catcher, in a pod catcher like Juice. Uh, you can search for Juice on Google, download that program, and then it'll load the shows automatically onto your uh, generic MP3 playing device. If you have any questions about the show or about technology, you can send us an email at 911 at tecker.net or you can leave us a voicemail at 610-572-2847. Thank you so much for watching Tecker 911.